Hello there. Hello there everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Elliot Webber and yeah, it's been a long time. It has been a long time coming. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I have been on sort of a, a bit of a break and a sort of, I've had to, I just sort of have had a, a mental reset with myself. I decided to just take a break from YouTube from it for, for a bit. Um, so yeah, but now I'm back and in today's topic, we are talking about Colin Turkington and what is going on with the four-time champion this year? Um, so let's get into it. So yeah, uh, topic of the day is Colin Turkington and what is happening with Turkington. As we know, Colin Turkington is a four-time British Touring Car Champion, currently racing for Team BMW with West Surrey Racing. Of course, he is partnering to uh, three-time race winner Stephen Jelly and two-time race winner Tom Oliphant in the BMW 330i's. Um, of course, as we know, very, very quick cars. Um, Turkington, as we know, one of, if not the greatest BTCC driver of all time. And this year, he hasn't really been up to his standards. Of course, as we know, Turkington is very known for his consistency and, of course, his his, his talent. Um, but this year, we haven't really seen that Turkington. Um, he's only had one win so far in the nine races we've had and only two podiums, which for Colin Turkington standards is not enough. Whilst, of course, he still sits P4 in the championship, he realistically should be in that top two, maybe even be leaving the championship by his standards. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to be talking about what's been happening with Turkington. So the best thing to do, in my opinion, is to sort of break down his season so far as a whole and just go round by round with, with what's happening. So let's, of course, start off with Thruxton, uh, the season opener. Um, he had a fairly decent qualifying. It was sort of wet, dry, wet, dry at Thruxton qualifying. Of course, as we know, reigning champion Ash Sutton took pole. Turkington was P3 um, in, in the BMW, so... For a, a Honda or front-wheel drive favoured track to be P3 in a BMW for Turkington was very good. And I, honestly, I wasn't really surprised to see him up there because he always is in qualifying. Of course, he is the 2020 Wingfoot Award winner, which means, of course, he was the best qualifier in 2020. Um, and of course, with his consistency, I'm sure we were probably predicting him to win that first race of the season. But no, um, he ended up finishing P10 in that first race of the season. Which, again, for Turkington was like, wow. Even for a a Honda favoured track in Thruxton, Turkington to be P10 is something that was very shocking. Uh, apparently, though, um, on, on that Sunday, Turkington was suffering with, with some back pain. So maybe that, that didn't really, that hindered his performances. But a P10 in race one, P7 in race two, so not as bad. And then a P6 in race three. So consistency is there. But again, for the standards of Turkington, that's just not good enough to not have a top five or even a podium for Turkington standards. Wasn't obviously the best. However, consistency was key that weekend and he did get consistent results and three top tens. Moving on to Thruxton and it was sort of the Turkington of old. Of course, he was very low in the standings after Thruxton. So, of course, he wasn't as heavy as guys like Ash Sutton and Tom Ingram and Josh Cook and Jake Hill, who was the championship leader. Um, of course, Turkington took pole position, which was no surprise. I think by anyone, he is one of the best drivers at Snetterton Raceway. So, yeah, of course, in 2020, he took two wins at Snetterton. So, yeah, I'm sure we were predicting uh, another Turkington dominance in, in, in race one. And indeed, that's what it was. Turkington led every single lap and took um, the first race of the day at Snetterton. So everyone was like... OK, this is a return to form for him. And then race two, P2, and then race three wasn't the best. It was obviously a reverse grid, but honestly, I can't remember where he finished. But I do think it was outside the top 10. Um, but yeah, Brands Hatch. What a horrid weekend for Turkington at Brands Hatch. Um, he only scored two points the entire weekend. Wow. Wow. Um, of course, in race one, he was running in in the in the lower part of the points. He was about P12, I think. Um, 
And then he got spun round by Sam Osborne in race one, which did mean, of course, he would drop out of the points. And then race two, couldn't work his way back up, despite the fact he had zero weight and was in probably the fastest car. So, again, Turkington to not score points even in race two was a, was a shock. And he did come back, though, in race three to score uh, P14, which, again, is only two points. So, Turkington, only two points in one entire weekend. Um, for Turkington, that isn't good enough. Um, so, yeah. What is going on with Colin Turkington this year? In my opinion, uh, we're going to start off with my opinion. In my opinion, I think it it's generally just not been a good season for him. Um, I don't really have an answer. Um, as we know, Turkington is now on the older side of things, but it cannot be down to age because he's not even 40 yet. So, you know, he's younger than Gordon Shedd and he's, of course, younger than Jason Plato. So, of course, he's on the older side, but he's not the oldest on the grid. And I don't think your form can suddenly just go away like that. You know, I, I don't really, you know, so I don't have an answer. Um, I don't really have a theory. So, I yeah, I'm not too sure what is going on with Turkington, but I, I hope we can see him return to form because he deserves to be fighting at the front. He deserves to be fighting for wins. Deserves to get a fifth championship because that, of course, is what he is going for. He wants to get the... He wants to, you know, break Andy Rouse's record and, you know, become statistically the greatest of all time in, in, in winning a fifth... in winning a fifth championship. Um, so, yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What is going on with Colin Turkson? Is it down to age or is it just the fact he is not having a good season let me know in the comments below remember if you are new around here be sure to subscribe and of course share with your mates because it does help my channel grow now be sure to hit that like button as well because you know that helps as well um so yeah thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next one goodbye